As people flee Hong Kong, what's happening to their pets? We have definitely seen an increase in the amount of dog owners abandoning their dogs because they are moving out of Hong Kong. These are two that have been left behind. And so here they are. This is Cassius. Cassius and Roxy were brought here by a domestic helper whose employers moved back to Britain. She's so sweet. <laughs> when the helper came to drop them off to our center, she cried really hard because she, obviously she loved them a lot. She has taken care of them since they were puppies. It's one example of many. Government data shows more than 100,000 people have left Hong Kong already this year, in part because residents have become increasingly frustrated with the city's zero COVID policy. Whether they are local people who are going to start their new life in somewhere else or they are expats who have to go back to their home hometown or be relocated to somewhere else. Because of Hong Kong's tough quarantine requirements, airlines have cut the number of flights to and from the city, leaving people hoping to fly with their pets with fewer options, longer waiting lists and costs of up to tens of thousands of dollars. Many have either chosen or been forced to abandon their pets, and shelters are overwhelmed. This dog shelter alone is taking in double the amount of dogs a month and is running out of space. This is Remy. She was due to move with her family to Australia. Then, at the start of the year, sudden flight restrictions came in, and Australia's Qantas Airways suspended pet transfers. Yeah, when we found out that Remy um wasn't getting on the plane on the 9th of January. It was really sad because we hadn't we haven't seen her since mid-November. And she's a member of our family. Until they can get her to Australia, Remy is stuck here in a Hong Kong pet boarding house. And owner Claire must make do with old videos. Leaving Remy behind in the first place was a grueling choice she faced when her mother back home developed advanced Alzheimer's. If I have a mum who doesn't recognise me anymore, a dad who's just had a hip replacement, and I had to be back here for this. And yes, my dog is part of my family, but so is my mum and dad. And so we don't know everything that's going on. So I, I would urge people to be more gentle with each other, less judgment. We will fight to the end of the earth to get her here. While there are no official figures on how many pets are being abandoned, Pet Export Vet, a pet travel agency, said it received three to four times more inquiries in the past two to three months and has temporarily stopped accepting new bookings. So there are all these Facebook groups that people are trying to set up just to get their pets out of Hong Kong. They're all trying to help each other. Hong Kong flight volunteers for pets. This one's called Hong Kong private jet sharing with dogs. So they're literally sharing private jets to get their pets out. Um, and the prices, you know, it's quoting 30,000 US dollars for one person plus one pet. And that's a one-way flight. So people are clearly quite desperate. Hong Kong had a net outflow of more than 71,000 people in February and 40,000 people so far in March. What's not known is how many people intend to return.